Hola! It's time for a stream! Or, well, I wish I would be actually outdoor at the moment because it's so, so hot in my apartment. Uh, I even have issues with like blocking the sound out. Like, there's a small little. <laughs> I guess just a small little like inch or something where it's um, passing through here before it actually moves out of uh, my eyes. So, yeah. I'm actually sitting a little bit to the side to not get it straight in my eye. Uh, I don't have any curtains or blinders, but that's never really been an issue living in Sweden with like most time it's super dark. So now I really feel like I need uh, blinders or curtains uh, for my windows. Hello Aspen! Hello Dupin, Mr. Kramer. Dundee and Dragonfly, how are you guys doing? Is it like sunny and warm in your places as well or is it perhaps a little bit colder? again <laughs> like starting this once a week really makes me like forget where I was actually working on last time oh it's very warm where you living in the Philippines well then I shouldn't really complain it's not like we have uh, that like heat here in Sweden we had like 25 degree yesterday which is really Surprising being this early, um, but then also I can't block out the sun, so it's like it's literally in beaming into my um, workroom during the entire day and like building up this uh, heat. My cat seemed happy though; he's like sunbathing in the sun here next to me. Are you also had issues with in? Uh... <laughs> with the sun stream the other day. Well, I do like the uh, sun. It's just not that nice to get it like in my eye. <laughs> Hello, bronze. How are you doing? My headphones are on fire again. Yes, they're burning because it's so hot outside. It's literally on fire right now. You think I should uh, stream with sunglasses or something? Hey, King <laughs> Um, I don't think I would be able to see the screen, but it's like I almost want to have a pair because I mean, if I actually should sit like I normally would, here, that's when I get the sun in my eye, so I have to move slightly to the side. Wow, well, now, now I have like a sun scorching thing in my eye, so... I think we were doing some stuff with the... Um, yeah, the buttons last time. I right here. Here we go. Now I found it. It's like this part where I've been working. Okay, so this part. And then the question was... To add it on the other side, because then it would be somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, here. Mm, yeah, it would be here. So I think we should start with that today. Just add that, so it's like on the other side. Son, you want me to have a leather jacket and leather gloves and a motorcycle with a computer on. <laughs> well, if you can get me a motorcycle with a computer on, I'm all for it. But only if you can get that.
<laughs> it seems a bit hot. You think so, Franz? Have all the leather equipments? Yeah, I think if it would be winter and it would be cold, then it feels like, yeah, leather jacket and leather gloves and stuff might have been nice, but now I can barely breathe in this room. So it's hotter inside here than it's outside at the moment. I can't really have my windows open too much either because I have a cat that is like an escape artist. He's like, oh, what's outside? And I'm like, you shouldn't really try to make an attempt to go outside. It's like, we're on the sixth floor. It's dangerous. And he's like, oh, what's that? What's out this outside? So I have to like have this like tiny, tiny gap. A GPS ship on the cat? Well, I know that he's trying to break out of the window, so why would I need to ship him? That seems about okay. Good thing that it's supposed to look handcrafted, or otherwise it would be very wobbly and wonky. both the pen and the control before I move, otherwise we'll have a lot of these buttons repeating themselves. So anyone did anything fun during the weekend? Like I'm actually losing track of the days, so I just realized that even if I, like I have my clock, or like, clock, that's the wrong word, my phone with a calendar, like standing calendar reminder that it's like stream today, and I just realized that, wait, it's actually Tuesday, so that means that it's been, it's been weekend recently. This like blur in the like weeks blurring together is starting to really feel more real than before. Before us, we're like, oh, you're joking about it a bit, like, 
like floating together, but now I'm really like lost in time. <laughs> yes, the weekend. What was that again? Yeah. You know, when you're actually not working and supposed to do stuff, I guess, with friends or hobby activities and stuff. Have you heard about it before, Aslan? some worms, some friends invited me to play some, yeah, the old game worms, but like a new edition, like a new version of the 2D edition, I guess. That was a lot of fun. I think that was during the weekend. But it might have been... no, it was not yesterday, no. same ones that we've worked on. We don't have to do them again. So I'm gonna make some like, make it a bit more organic today. Focus a lot of that, like change the shapes and stuff of the um, main body of the bag, I think. Hopefully we can even start on some uh, detailing. like thinking ahead of myself going like yeah I'm gonna do that soon and then it's not really time for that yet. Expensive, I won't buy one. But you know, maybe if after a few 
editions and years of them, they are cheaper. <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself. that done day when you were young you'd be flying over the ocean I honestly thought flying cars when I was a kid wasn't too far off because of the Jetson family cartoon and stuff looking at it going like yeah no that's probably when I'm a grown up sitting here now like there's no flying cars and <clears throat> they're still going on the gasoline and the power wheels that the sun would move a little bit more out of my window so I can actually sit straight move the table slightly yeah can you come and help me with that last one there's like a lot of crap on the table, and the table itself I think is like 40 kilo. Uh, and it's also jammed into the wall, so if you can then move the wall for me, then we can move the table. <laughs> Are you on the way? Okay, good. I think it would be easier almost to move the sun. Walls are easy, you smash through them. The thing is that if you smash the wall that I have here, I'm gonna have more of the sun indoor because it's actually the like outside wall. It's not even a neighbor on this side of the wall, it's just like literally the outside. But I know, like, you know, you can maybe extend the room a bit. That's not bad, right? Get some more extra room. Get a sun terrace hanging in the sky. Sounds good. Tape a sheet of paper on the window where the sun is. <laughs> I actually... I actually already did that dragonfly. It's funny that you mention it, but I didn't do it good enough, so the slight like inch where I missed is actually where I put like the piece of paper together but not enough tape <laughs> to go across that. So um, that's what's shining through. So I can actually fix it by adding some more tape, I think. It doesn't look pretty though. And probably from the outside people are like, huh? What is going on in there? But it's funny that you mention it. Great minds think alike. Creative solutions to uh, problems. Mm. 
or I should just buy a pair of curtains, that's nicer. And it doesn't look like a maniac is living here, I guess. is too heavy to tape up and then I didn't try it but you know the coat hangers <laughs> I like how we're trying to invest a lot of time in solving something that I could probably just order online from Ikea a pair of curtains and like a curtain hanger and put that uh, on the wall but now <laughs> let's go for coat hangers <laughs> the towel is maybe light enough but they are lighter for sure but yeah all of these things I have more in handy I guess than ordering online and I do have like towels and blankets so then I don't have to spend anything on it right so staple it to the wall <laughs> I wonder if that's doable you think so I wonder if the staples are sturdy enough to pierce through like a concrete wall maybe they are though Shopping, home decoration stuff is something I just don't really enjoy that much. That's why I think I've been dragging on. Because really, it's a lot of hassle to try to tape up stuff and so on, and then just ordering something, I guess, like some cheap curtains. But it's just like, I will have to contemplate a lot on like the color, the length, the thickness. And then I start getting tired, and then I get like, I don't know. Then I have to make a decision, and then it feels like, oh, I have to make a decision, but what if it goes wrong? And I know, we're only talking about curtains here, but yeah. It's a lot of decision to buy curtains. Not really, but that's what's going on in my mind, at least, when it comes to like home decorating things. like. I have to look at them and it's come, becoming even more so now when I'm sitting home I realize that I haven't really done that much with the place since I moved in like September I have just not really cared because I didn't spend too much time in the apartment anyway so why bother and now I have to see stuff here every day and now now I think about things so extra touch of like dark nerdy cave I guess build a pillow fort in the middle of the living room I think the cat would love that idea I think he would approve
a goth game as well because of black curtains. Would you go for black curtains if you had like a nerd room? I mean, I painted the walls in here like dark grey instead of white to give that more like cavey feel, I guess. And also because it makes me feel more calm if it's uh, dark, at least where I'm working. It's still dark, but more stylish. I will fit the walls, that's for sure. Won't even notice that there is a window here. Oh, interesting, I say. We'll go for purple? Dark purple? For the curtains or for the entire room? That sounds depressing, Asla. <laughs> purple is a nice color though, but when people say purple, sometimes they mean the more red hue of it, and sometimes they think about the more cold, like blue-ish hue. So I'm actually not sure which one are you thinking about when you say purple, Aslan. Do you think about the more cool variation going for like the bluish? Or like the redder, like wine red almost. saying when you go to the store and want to buy the purple? Give me the singer prince uh, type of purple. I'm sure purple is your color, Asan, or it is now. It's your color.
a Christian, you're frustrated after again playing a combat for an hour of Shadow Run where you can't save the game by about in the same situation as last time. Now you discover that this bug has been there already five years ago and was never fixed. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Such a shame since the game has a very nice story. In a sense, it's good that they're aware of it, but yeah, I can imagine that it's not that fun. Uh, it's like. What was that game again? I think uh, I played. Um, Titan Quest. There we go. Uh, with some friends. And they do have like. Lots and lots and lots of bugs. And. Like apparently the healer class is very bugged, so there's like a spell, like if you cast a healing spell or something in mid-combat, it bugs everything out and you have to start from the beginning. So we're like, uh, yeah. And then we found a lot of other bugs like that already reported, but no one had really fixed. Uh, so after we spent, I think, 10 hours or so in the game, we decided to not continue playing the game because there was a lot of ridiculous bugs causing us not not making progress but then there were some that would actually you know you would have to restart the entire game again so but other than that it was a nice you know i think it had potential and would be a nice game to play but it was just too buggy Um, there is a fire behind you, Kim. No, really, what's that? You've been gone for a long time. Oh, that's my... <laughs> that's my humidifier. It makes the air more um, moist. The lovely word, moist. Um, but yeah, it's good for dry air. Like, for breathing and skin and stuff like that. And uh, it's just fun to have behind me, so it looks like everything is on fire. <laughs> don't say voice, please. <laughs> Why, Aslan? You don't like the word? No, Christian, there is no colored light. I have a colored light, and then I was actually mixing with it, and then I realized that the um, remote controller that you know, changes the color on the light, is gone. I can't find it, so I can't actually change the light of the color. And it always, like, by standard start on white, and I'm like, well, this is basically like having a regular lamp then, uh, because I can't change the color. So unfortunately, I couldn't make it happen. Uh, I'm gonna have to find that controller for that lamp. Aslan, you prefer damp or humid? Oh. oh, wrong. You think it's a stylish wave I got there? I think uh, the humidifier was the talk of the stream last time, so it's definitely a talking point. Oh, 
Also, it's good to know that most people would actually care if they saw something smoking behind me uh, and not stay silent about it, like, your stuff is on fire. That's good, right? I think we have a cat. Okay. Are you gonna jump up on the table? You're looking at me like I'm your servant, going like, pick me up, human. Put me on the table. Is it hot today, Kate? Is it hot today? But you're like sunbathing in the sun. Yes, you are. For some reason, even though you have like a lot of fur, you're still the one who likes the sun the most. Yes, you are. You mean like moving spot to spot just to be in the sun, right? I've been like petting him randomly today when he's been in the sun and Oh god, it's almost like he's burning. You can cook like fried egg on him and he's still like just there like a lizard going like, oh, this is a nice spot. Scratchy scratchy. Hmm? Hairy egg deal. Yeah, it will be very hairy egg. I don't want to have eggs like that. No. So what are you gonna do, Kate? Are you gonna be next to me? Because I can't, I can't have you in my arm and work at the same time. No, that's impossible. Because for one thing you're heavy, and for the other thing it requires like that I have two hands when I work with this. Oh. Where should I put you? Over here. Yeah, that's my water. Are you gonna steal it today as well? I put a giant bucket of water on the table just for you, Kay. Can't you, you use that one instead? Hello, Daniel!
It seems like you're very tired, Kay. You must be wondering for all of the sunbathing you've done. in the chat at the same time. Yeah, Ron, that doesn't really happen that very often. Take a snapshot. Oh, Kristen, you wish you had the energy after work to do a regular re-touch stream? I wish I had more energy in, in general, and also just to be able to do a little bit more streaming. I did before, but yeah, I got very tired. Again, I always wish I had more energy to do stuff all the time. And also I wish I had more time, so... Oh, Dragonfly, you found a tick on Rio? He's an indoor cat, so he must have gotten in on the balcony. I should uh, check K again. Like, he went to the countryside with my parents and our other family cat during the weekend, and they found the tick on the other cat. And I have been checking him, but sometimes it takes a while before you find them. Ugh. It's just nasty to think about maybe finding one of those uh, things in a bed. A truly balcony. You must be living uh, quite close to the ground level then, Dragonfly. Because they don't have wings yet, I think. When they do, we are all doomed, I think.
accidentally pulled too hard here. when I said yet, if I mean that there is a chance that things will start flying. Well, you never know, right? With modern nature and evolution and stuff like that. Suddenly, maybe things will fly. You on the first floor are going to fly. Like, oh, one floor above, ground floor. There are trees close to the balcony, the, uh, or maybe it's, or maybe it climbed on the, up the wall. Would they really do that? I don't know. I'm not a insect expert, nor like am I an expert on ticks. But that sounds really nasty if it climbed up the walls. Maybe it did. Or maybe it like evolved and it actually has wings. Oh well, Christian, yeah, they might be gliding. Like they're very light, so Maybe they are through the wind? Oh, when I talk about insects and stuff, it always like start crawling across like on my body, like itching and stuff, it feels like I have insects on me. I'm making it look like a little bit beaten up, but also like someone have 
hand hammered a little bit to get some interesting like reflection on it because it's gonna be a metal piece. Same with the top of the one above here as well. Thank you for the follow! What I'm basically doing is adding details that I find very hard to add in Substance Painter. Um, even if you could potentially do it, I'm not really exactly sure how I would approach that, but it would take me longer time to figure that out and then actually do this detailing uh, in here. And it, then you have the possibility even change the silhouette a little bit or so. Classic Final Fantasy music, yes. <laughs> it's the cozy music. Yeah, I think it's relaxing. I like listen to um, like music soundtrack from games especially like the calmer ones give some like atmospheric 
I guess. Also, it doesn't contain any words. I think uh, sometimes I find it very distracting with listening to regular music. Uh, with like song text and stuff. I can almost feel like people are talking in my ear when they're singing, so it can be a bit distracting sometimes. Thank you for the follow! Suplex. What the sculpt is for? It's a um, it's a hobby project of mine. Like making a game asset out of it, so it's the high poly. The high poly of it. where it's actually bulking out a little bit, like it's coming loose almost. That's why I'm trying to mimic, but... Mm, let's see, mode always on top. Yeah, I'm here, but the thing is that this plate is more straight than the one that I have, so... Um, yeah, it's like a small gap here. But my plate is a bit too thick, so that's why I was like trying to flat it out on the side. online therapy that was something <laughs> but that was something that it go well <laughs> also aloha came no things so great over there in sweden land sweden land <laughs> Things are great here in Sweden land. We're getting summer. Basically, so... Oh, this is a metal plate, uh, Christian. Oh, 
Oh, you never done online therapy before. Oh. First session then, I guess. I hope it will help, uh, Avarax. I'm, I'm just assuming that online therapy is probably as good as like going and talking to the person, but it's safer, you know, being online and all. Hello, Happy Gamer! How are you doing? Uh, Christian, are the full res picture on Discord? They were on Discord. Not sure if it was full res. I think there was a link to the full res pictures. But, like, I'm not trying to replicate an exact copy of the, um, the bag, because if I would, then I already think I have actually failed pretty hard on that, <laughs> making an exact copy. So I'm taking a bit of inspiration for it. And for me, like, I don't know, I like the subtle, like, a little bit of a gap in here, but we will see if I keep it. I can always just, like, go back, or if it looks weird and I should just have it flat and don't bother, because honestly, it might bake very, very bad, so we'll see. You'd rather have it in person, but it works. I guess it's still like web camera and stuff, right? It's good that we have a history thing here in ZBrush. So we can go back. Let's see if we do a bend like that. Might be better to do it with like the curve an arc brush, because I think that will bake off. Mm. The lighting thing, well that's that's fine Avarax, I mean you were just asking a question about light. I, I'm not the best person <laughs> to ask about how you light something nicely either, as like I'm not a lighting artist. Um, That's why I always ask people for input about what I'm doing, because I honestly don't really know what I'm doing most of the time, so... Um, but it's good if you don't need help with it anymore, input from me. Because I'm not sure how much like of valuable input I would actually be able to provide. Lighting is really hard, but it's also like <sighs> very important for present presentation of the things uh, we make, so I should really spend some more time with uh, lighting myself. Well, if uh, like Christian light is the most essential thing in a presentation, like even if you have really great textures, if you can pull off the light for it and like get those nice reflections or um, well, you show that off, then yeah, it's not gonna look great. It doesn't matter like what you've done. It's gonna, it's just not gonna be a good presentation of it. So, um, it's very, very important. But it's also very, very often neglected the the lighting part of it, or like people think about it as as an afterthought. 
like which I also do sometimes. Like I try to think about it beforehand, but then I change my mind so many times, like throughout the project that <laughs> I have to redo the light and then I still redo the light again and again. Um, but I really should have like made a nice lighting in the beginning already. Yeah, I don't really learn from my own mistakes either. Oh, you've been learning lighting a lot then, I assume. You learned from a book. Uh, you can have the prettiest model spend days sculpting on it, and what do hobbyists do? They slap it in a GI dome. Well, yeah, might is <laughs> often like overlooks. Add some glorious light, and you can make even the shitty model look like a diamond level. Now, that's something, it sounds like a quote almost from something. You can post a link here if you want to, and if you want to spread the word to people who didn't join for the stream in Discord, then feel free to do so as well. It's starting. The sun is starting to go down here, finally. I wonder why I have made a... I'm trying to figure out why I made a... Um, what to say... I don't think I did a Dyna Mesh, or did I? No, it's definitely Dyna Mesh, it's not a Remesh. Yeah, it's a Dyna Mesh. So what I'm trying to figure out is why I did. Because now I feel like... Well, that's stupid. Or is it? Or did I call myself unnice things without checking first why I did? You know, this is not really nice to start off with as a topology problem. Like, why did I do it? I can't see, like, any reason why. Eventually I would like to do a line of mesh on it.
do this one often. something like this. Apparently I moved it in ZBrush. Keep in mind that the book is old. You read it like eight to nine years ago. Well, it's, it's probably gonna be a uh, you know, good information in there anyway. Oh, Avarx, you have some music requests. Are you gonna use your points? <laughs> okay, okay. I will pass my Hotel Dusk music from a great game, by the way, Nintendo DS game. And we will listen to Avarx music request. That dude Henry gave up on Blender. Well, I did. Uh, <laughs> I did give up on it, yes. For my own sanity sake and the people here on stream uh, sake. Well, I haven't really completely given up on it. Like, I still want to explore and learn more about it one day. And <laughs> now, <laughs> the timing wasn't just right at the moment. Had so many issues with it. No kidding. It's like trying to re learn how to model again, which is fun but also very frustrating. It's like, oh, easy peasy to uh, learn like 3ds Max or ZBrush and stuff like that, or Maya, and then you have Blender. Oh gosh. Oh, take care, Christian. The cosplay party is online. Well, say hello. Oh, one day, bro. Yes, it sounds like you're setting a deadline for your project. <laughs> one day. One day I will manage. One beautiful or maybe dark day I will. Try Blender again and cry. This is probably gonna be equally awful as the first time. Oh, you have so many unfinished projects, Hapirax? Oh, and the Game Boy is one of them that you did in three days in January, decided to come back to it. Oh, well, I must say a good, uh, good job of getting back to it. It's not easy to revisit a... Um, old project again sometimes, uh, and then especially finishing it up. 
I think you leveled up a few points, Avrax, by doing so. But yeah, I'm going to finish this one and the pot diorama before I even attempt to start yet another one. <laughs> Don't you dare mentioning wrong the Nordic diorama because that's not gonna happen. Or maybe, maybe it will. I don't know. I get anxiety when I'm thinking about it. How many points? Uh, it depends, like, on what scale are we talking about? About, like, uh, on a scale of 10? Or a scale of 100? <laughs> oh, come on, you would it. Unless. <laughs> but I think, honestly, a scale of a fucks. <laughs> Well, I think you leveled up by a... Uh, I don't know, a, a tenth of that, maybe? Depends on what it, like a thousand would be, like if that would be the next level. But... Uh, finishing something and seeing it through is actually really valuable. Like, it's more valuable than you would actually think. You learn a lot and you grow a lot as well. Especially if you let time pass in between. Um, so maybe I will also level up if I revisit the Nordic diorama piece or I will just die of frustration because it's not going to be what I imagined it in my head. But I have sometimes revisited the texturing on uh, a few of my stuff and then just re-textured and noticeably it turns always out way better than it did before so which is actually the nordic type <coughs> sorry not a diorama to begin with. Uh, it was supposed to be a revisit of a student project that I made, but I think I just made it a bit too ambitious. Learning and real at the same time. Oh gosh, on stream. Yeah, learning stuff on stream. I have learned now. It's hard to do because I can't really sit and watch a tutorial. I guess on stream setting and. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to concentrate on it anyway. <laughs> Wrong! Can I redeem my 1000k string points for you to finish your Nordic diorama? Oh my god. If you get a hundred thousand points, I will make one so you can redeem those points for that Nordic diorama request. I'm not sure how long time that would take you to actually collect though. Oh, Avrox, you had 50k? You better watch out. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Can set up ridiculous requests. Maybe a thousand. Is that too low? Am I putting up myself for like... <laughs> Am I putting myself up for massive amount of work by doing this now? I don't know, should a blender request be 500k? Make a car in blender. 
Oh, well, no, no. Happy Gamer, it needs to be individual, otherwise... <laughs> otherwise, the, that ri ri ridiculous request would actually come true. I guess it's on camera, the point request for Blender and the Nordic Diorama now. Oh, but then I have one request for you, Rom, to make this a bit more fair for me putting myself through all of this. You remember that face I was sculpting on the on the wall for the diorama? <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> I want to have a picture of your face that I can sculpt and make that into a wall monument. Yeah, the mustache girl. <laughs> it will be your face as an honor for you pestering me so much about finishing this damn piece. <laughs> so worth it? Okay. <laughs> Your face will be forever in the Nordic diorama piece as a mustachio woman. It will be amazing. <clears throat> but then you have to allow me to use your picture on stream so I can sculpt according to the reference. You double shame. Uh, wow, it feels like a battle of like um, the demands or like traits for uh, making this happening. I don't know if it if it really really something you want me to, then uh, I will consider it. Thank you for the follow. Otherwise, I will keep it because it needs to look like your face. Well, I better brush up my um, anatomy skills, it sounds, and learn some Unreal to make the environment happen. Imagine the stream title working on the infamous Nordic diorama featuring Shad <laughs> Oh, we have a deal? Okay, okay. Sounds like a plan. Well then, I better make that request thing and you get better gather the points, which means that you're actually gonna have to show up for the streams. Mr. Mod. Uh, I 
feel terrified of having to finish this environment piece now. that picture wrong. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Something this like this will be enough. For the sculptor for your face. music. Good, good ears, Aslan. play Galaxy again it was good, a good game. I like it as well, but I do prefer um, Super Mario Sunshine actually. They should really make a remake of that game. for having a remake of Super Mario Sunshine for a long time, but then again I'm also like, it would be nice to just have a Mario Sunshine 2, just a f sequel, I guess, to it, rather than them touching up the graphics, I think. Sunshine as university students when we try to collect every 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 single thing in the game. We still haven't done that. <laughs> so that's why I'm also a little bit every blue coin, yeah. That's why I'm also like I don't wanna have a remake because then I'm gonna sit there again trying to do that. So instead of trying to replay the same stupid secret levels it would be just better if they make a sequel, because it's not going to be the same levels again, then at least. No, actually, I don't think we had all the blue coins. I don't think so. 
Because the last boss you can do at uh, 80 sunshines. You don't have to have 120. But you have a list. Okay, well don't mind my bad memory then. Might be wrong. Oh wrong, I missed that <laughs> you started to show off every stream for a year to grind 100k. Will it take a year to grind that? I wonder. Maybe it does. Then I have some time to prepare for my doom of having to return to that project again. How long did it take you to get to 50k? Asking for a friend. Thank you for the follow! It looks like on the reference here that these things that I added are actually going inside here and up. So they don't really sticking out. Here it's missing though. It's just like a the remnants from it. Okay, it looks like it's at least where it's still there, it's going up in the into the socket. The hole here that needs to be bigger just to make sense. I guess so. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to tuck it in there. Try something here, it might not be too pretty, but it's better to try it out at least.
add it a little bit. Probably need to go a little bit stronger on the, on the edge here. If it doesn't look too stiff, it's probably been used quite a lot. Wrong. Yes, we just got to 11k. <laughs> Is this gonna be the new thing? A, count a countdown, almost. I'm gonna sit here and sweat for like a year. trying to make you do some work. Uh, I think I actually have a blog entry for the Nordic Diorama on Art Station. I'm gonna grab that one. Or maybe that's a really old blog entry. That's a really old one. Better to show some Working, working progress from a folder instead. Yeah, here we go. So people who don't really know what environment we're talking about, this is the environment that Ron is uh, asking me to continue on. I think uh, it's one of the... When is this? 2018? I can't remember. It's one of the first thing I streamed. Well, not one of the first things, but it's like one of the earlier projects at least. Um, where I set myself out to re redo or do a retake on my student project. Let's see, I have a mood board here. Let me check that out. So this is the old student project of mine that I made uh, as a portfolio piece back in the day. You've probably seen this on ArtStation as well. But it's like one of my very first ZBrush things that I did. Like for an environment. And then I figured, ah, oh, I wonder how much I leveled during the... Uh, what is it? 2014 I did this? So six years? That's passed? Um, so, like I figured, let's redo this, and this is all the ambitious ideas. And instead of just keeping a flat <laughs> circle with some stuff around it, you can see that um, like I'm actually trying to, here, make something... Yeah, it's still like keeping to the essence with having something flat and then a wall surrounding, but it became something entirely different. That takes longer time to make than this. So, and this is the head that we've been talking about that Roman's face is gonna be. It's like a seabrush head with just a mustache to so like it's a placeholder for a Viking head. But yeah, this is where I left off. This was it, and then I was like, yep. <laughs> 
not sure uh, why. I think it became too much, honestly. Mm. Because like at this point I was like, I really need to start thinking about what I want to do in Unreal. And then I realized I have no idea how to do stuff in Unreal. And then I was like, no, no, no. And then I stopped. Are you actually working right now? I know, I can't, be can't believe myself. Should photo scan my, my face or Rome's face for the diorama? You started following October 14th, 2018. That's a very specific date. That's when I started the block on this one. Okay, well, there we go. Almost two years ago. If I still have the rock sculpture, I have all the files here. All of them files. I even have the tree, the, the tree lady. <laughs> so this tree here is supposed to be a god um, or goddess, like in the tree. So this, yeah, we can look. Here is the. The very first block out, and then we have the speed model, which like is a huge, yeah, it's like a body wrapped in the tree. But then I was like, that's very tiny, so you won't really, you won't really see it. And then it became bigger, like a lady, where it's growing out of the head. <laughs> what were I thinking when I was designing it? And then I started doing bark pieces as block out for it. And like doing some dynamics, like shaping it so it becomes a little bit more skewed up with the tree. Yeah, but that's the latest piece I can see here. I didn't even implement it in uh, this scene, it's actually an old lockout. But yeah, this, uh, the, this is like, I think it's two rock pieces. And I still have them. Man, but that's two years ago that I started that piece. Mm. That's a long time ago. Happy, uh, I haven't played uh, God of War, so I don't know, maybe it is. I saw a lot of like uh, concept art things on Pinterest with like nymphs and stuff like that and they're usually depicted in like trees or grass and stuff so that's what I took inspiration for um, but I've seen some pictures from God of War with like a dude in a tree is that uh, the um, Nimir in God of War maybe? because there were a few pictures of like a dude in a tree popping out as well and I was like oh okay oh Seems like uh, I have, a, have an idea of something that I could look cool. Aron, you remember you write, wrote an entire fanfiction about the tree in the god. The tree god is in the chat. <laughs> a backstory for her. Yeah, Deku tree in Zelda. That was my first thought, like making a more of like a subtle face in there like it's just like the facial feature with the Deku tree at least in the earlier games so I think like a tree like a human in a tree is like a pretty common and made concept but it works with like a Nordic style-esque thing so yeah this dude I've seen But I wasn't really, yeah, so this like, I saw one of these pictures as well, I added it to like a tree mood board. But I wanted like make the character into like a tree as well. Oh, that's Mimir, okay. Okay. Uh... Here's a mood board for the tree. Mm -hmm. 
So you also have the, the guy from Guardian of Galaxy. The bark pieces. This is something I found on ArtStation, that's pretty cool. Uh, a statue for like dynamicness, I guess. And here is the. Yeah, here, go to work. Uh, and then this is also from our station someone made, like how it's wrapping in the face. But I'm going more for like this, I think, in the end. And this one is really cool, also someone who made a sculpt, but I don't think that's three. So it's more gonna be like, you can see the features, but it's gonna be like part of the tree. Hello, Kay. Nice of you to pop by. Okay. Oh no, Bronze! I'm not making a character. That's uh, It's an old project of mine that I was streaming two years ago that I never finished. Talking about unfinished projects. Um, hello, King. Hello. What time is it? Oh, it's been two hours. Maybe it's time to go and play with you. Yeah, I think it might be the cue for ending the stream. To play some, some with the cat and then hang out in Discord. Do you say Kate? I'm gonna say hello. Hello. You're not even gonna look at the camera? Oh, it's so beneath you to look into the camera when you say hello. Yeah. So you're gonna look away and be like, hello. <laughs> yeah, Kay came here to steal me from you guys. Yeah, that's the Viking environment that Ron can't stop talking about. It exactly, Bronze, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I made a deal with Ron about and when and how to continue with the environment. <laughs> so quick, we'll see. See if it happens. Depends uh, on Rome here, I guess. I have, a f I have a while to prepare mentally for this, I guess. Well, I am going to round it off then, guys. And as always, thanks for keeping me company. Um, well, I have a lot of cat hair in my mouth. I will uh, see you in uh, Discord, hopefully, in Artak, uh, the Artak channel. If you haven't uh, joined Discord, feel free to do so and just check out what we are working on and talking about and stuff. Um, and I hope everyone stays safe. So I will see you in Discord or uh, for the next stream, basically. So take care everyone and have a good night. Kay say Kay saying bye bye. Okay, come here. Kay saying bye bye. Kay can be here in the camera saying bye bye. Can I say bye bye? Bye bye Kay saying hello. Bye bye. Take care everyone. See you later.